but I'm just trying to bring myself to the feet of the Lord and start this new year off right. You know what I mean. I'm going to ask my good friend Shelly to come up here. Thank God that God took a hold of this man. He could have been a great pitcher for the Los Angeles Dodgers. But now he's... Uh, He's playing full time for the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach, and I thank God for him. Yeah. Just occurred, just occurred to me that it's very rare that people from various portions of the body of Messiah come together in an intimate session. Usually there's big conferences and it's kind of impersonal. I don't know about you, but I feel the presence of God tonight. I really do. And one thing that... Okay. okay. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> We're going to have a good time tonight. It's a, it's a New, Year's Day, New Year's Eve and you're tuned in to House of Worship. My name is Marty. This is my I'm one, Misha. Is, right, Misha, my one and only daughter. This is Lillian. And this is Lillian Ruth. Hello. And she's got a big smile for everybody. And That's this Caleb. This is someone you probably know. Yeah, there's Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to doff my hat. I donned it, and now I'm going to doff it. Put it right there on the, on the, uh, no, 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 on the, uh, right, no, 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 right here. Oh, okay. Right here. That's where I had it. It's decoration Thank now. You, okay, fix the hair. <laughs> so happy New Year, everybody. We're gonna sing some songs. We're gonna talk a little bit. We're gonna go for a little while longer than we usually do. We hope that we hope that tonight, if you're watching us, you you will enjoy what we're doing. You'll enjoy your your uh, time there. Uh, we don't know where you are. We don't know in what circumstances you find yourself in this New Year's Eve. But we're on the, right on the uh, cusp of the new year. And of course, in the Hebrew calendar, the new year is at Passover. Do you know that? For, uh, Nisan is the first month of the year. And uh, it's interesting the way it works. And then there's another Jewish new year. Jewish people like festivals. They like celebrations because they get to eat. And that's always important. <laughs> but anyway, for the rest of the world, this is New Year. Of course, in Australia, it's already 2024. But we're going to sing some songs right now. And who knows what's going to happen tonight. Just pray, Lord, lead us by your spirit. And we pray, Lord, that you will knit our hearts together this New Year. Right, Lily? Hey, amen. Amen. start, right? Sure. Actually, I think you start. Really? I can. You start. We're going to sing a beautiful song written right here in Nashville. Wonderful, merciful Savior.
Counselor, comforter, keeper. Spirit, we long to embrace. You offer hope when our hearts have hopelessly lost the way. Oh, we've hopelessly lost our way. Let's do one more time. Counselor, counselor, comforter, keeper. Spirit, we long to embrace. You offer hope when our hearts have hopelessly lost the way. Oh, we've hopelessly lost the way. You are the one that we pray. Thank you for the year that lays behind us, that lay behind us, that every moment this year in 2023 you've held in the palm of your hand and you will do that going forward into 2024. And we ask God that you would just open up the floodgates of heaven over each person watching tonight, over all of us here in this room. God, we ask for your special hand of protection over Israel, and over the Jewish people and all that they are enduring, everyone that is caught in the middle of this war still, God, our thoughts are with them this new year as, as we enter into it with joy. Lord, we know so many people are hurting across the world. And so, God, we just look to you in a time that is bittersweet. And we ask, Lord, that you would come and make all things new and all things right. And we look forward to that day and we beckon your return as we worship and we pray tonight. God, we ask that you would return soon and wipe away every tear. And God, that there would be no more death and no more pain. And for every person watching tonight, wherever they find themselves, as Dad said, God, that you would just meet them in this time. That you would give them hope and that you would renew their spirits. In Yeshua's name, amen. That was beautiful, hon. We start very festive, and we're going to be festive tonight because we've got our family here, and it's a beautiful opportunity for a whole new year spread before us, but we also are very cognizant of all that's going in on in the world. But you know what he says to us? The joy of the Lord is your strength. Without joy, we're easily defeated. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Right? Right, Lily? Yes? Yes. <laughs> Almighty, infinite Father, faithfully loving your own, here in our weakness you find us falling before your throne. Oh, oh we're falling before your throne. Why don't you sing that honey, with Lily?
song that Misha wrote. I helped her with it. And the little girl that's leaving is Lillian Ruth. Say goodnight. And Soon. this song is about Ruth. There she goes. Say goodbye, Lillian. Did you? Caleb did, yes. Ka I, you know, Caleb, I didn't even know that. Caleb, come here. Tell everybody that you named her and tell her what, why, why you did that. Come in closely. I named her last name, last Wait, the name kids. Ruth. No. Yeah. Because, um, because everybody else in the family, like, except for mommy, had a Bible name, like all the kids. So I was like, why don't she have a, some Bible name in her little name? Perfect. Very good. Well, this song. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Now, if you're this feeling, you know, sometimes around the holidays you can feel a little bit um, out of sorts. You can feel a. Uh, people sometimes get sad during the holidays. Maybe you feel disenfranchised from from other people. Maybe you feel alone. But that's not the way it is in God's kingdom. No one is ever alone. You are never alone. This young lady from Moab, or Moab as we read in the Bible, she had no, no faith in the God of Israel at all. But her story is so beautiful because she found shelter under the wings of the God of Israel. And from her, because she did that, from her came the Lord Yeshua himself. Isn't that an amazing thing? So here was a woman disenfranchised without a state, without a nation, without anything to call her own that anyone would count important, and yet God redeemed her life. Not only redeemed her life, but through the redemption of her life came our redemption. So don't give up hope. Never give up hope until the hope of Israel shows up on the scene. <laughs> Hopefully very soon, because I ain't getting any younger, you know what I mean? <laughs> All my life, I have wondered, wondered where I might belong, feeling
glad you set this up. Misha's got to go take care of Lily in a few minutes, so we're doing a lot of her songs right up front, and we don't get a chance to have her here very often. Move in close, hon, so they can see you on Instagram. Even, yeah. This is a song from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and it's an appropriate New Year's Eve song. It's a song about seasons of life and how... Sometimes we find ourselves in a season of sorrow, sometimes a season of joy, and the wise King Solomon wrote these words, and um, I turned to them at a time in my life when I was experiencing a wonderful blessing of expecting a new baby, but also the sorrow of saying goodbye to a dear family friend, somebody that was in this group of people that's in this room. Her name was Linda Messner. And I came home and sat down at my piano and opened up to Ecclesiastes 3 and took these words and wrote my own melody to it. It's on an album called A Time for Everything. And I just did. And that is um, the name of this song. And also, I haven't played this for her in a while, so I might make some mistakes, but my New Year's resolution, I don't know if you know this, oh. I told our friends oh. that I am not going to apologize anymore oh. for making mistakes. Woo! Yeah, it's going to be, that's going to take a lot of self-control. Wow. So Lord, Holy hey. Spirit, give me self-control <laughs> because I... Every time I make a mistake, I want to say, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. So just know I'm sorry even if I don't say it. But that's your last apology that you yeah. make. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Little jazz. <laughs>
about one more? be a day, as it says in Revelation 24, 21, verse 4, that he will wipe away every tear, and there will be no more pain, and no more sorrow, and that is what this song is about. This is called Cry No More, from my album Weight of Glory. Yeah. Weight of Glory and Weight for Glory. Yes. <laughs> there is a joy within my soul There is a peace that won't let go There is a love surpassing understanding There is a hope that lives in me There is a truth that all must see There is a kingdom that is
nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is, the name of Jesus. Oh, you didn't want heaven without us. Yeshua, you brought heaven down. <laughs> oh, my sin was great. Your love was greater. What can separate us now? What a beautiful name it is. What a beautiful name it is. The name of Jesus Christ, my King. What a beautiful name it is. Nothing compares to this. What a beautiful name it is.
here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together started house of worship at around covid time and when we went that we thought that that was probably the worst thing that could happen on the earth but guess what it wasn't <laughs> i mean it was horrible for some people don't get me wrong i mean I, if you lost somebody to that please forgive me for even chuckling at that because i know it was a tragic and we lost friends too it was a horrible time but when it when the when the dust settled we, you know, we had to get back to life, but we had no idea that there'd be wars and rumors of wars. 
We had no idea that our land, Israel, would be attacked so brutally. We had no idea on New Year's Eve 2024, 2023, 2023 to 24, that Israel would be at war. We had no idea. So again, once again, my condolences for anyone who suffered through that COVID uh, pandemic. But for us, what it did was it kind of cleared out our calendar and kind of cleared out our life. And we actually, Jenny and I, credit that time off for a, a renewal of our marriage, a renewal of my love for what I was doing, uh, opportunities to be with Joshua and Misha and Caleb and now Sammy and Lily and Ruth and all these beautiful friends we have here. We all sense that God is doing something very, very, very special in the days ahead. We know that because whenever these kind of things happen to Israel, it doesn't matter what it is, the 48 war, the 73 war, the 67 war, whatever it is, whenever something happens in the land of Israel, first in the natural like that, although we believe it actually happens first in the heavenlies, manifests on earth, and then God does something like a revival or a renewal or something we will all recognize if we have eyes to see. Well, it happened that way for a young lady. Once again, Misha should do a whole album of just all these Bible, you know, like Shannon Bream on Fox News. Too. She, she does this thing called Late Women of the Bible. You ought to do a record, <laughs> Women of the Bible. This is another woman who did not know at the time that she was living in a time that we would remember. She just thought that she was gonna be the uh, Jewish bride of a pagan king. That's all she knew. And she had no idea what her life would mean. That young lady called Hadassah, that we know as Esther. And guess what? And I'm gonna stop talking after this, but this entire drama took place in Persia, modern day Iran is Persia. So this song is actually very relevant to what's going on right now. The same spirits that want to wipe out Israel are still active. So I guess what we're saying is we all have to be Esthers and Mordechais, or I like to say Mardichais in this world. <laughs> So we're going to sing this song and then Lillian will be happy. <laughs> such a time as this for such a time as this are you our help are you our hope at such a time as this is there before you now a chance you dare not miss could it be we have come to the kingdom that you have come to the kingdom for such a time as this oh, you and I know we are the one to go before the So young, so 
so scared, not knowing what will be. If I should go, please tell my people I want please. Mom, do you want to say hi to the people? Sure. I'll trade with you. Well, we're going to go for a little while longer here, kids. Do you want to tell them how this New Year's Eve thing started? I don't remember. Well, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, the New Year's Eve. I didn't mean Come over here, Jonathan. We have Jonathan Volk's going to come by. Jonathan, tell us a little. Well, sit here, honey. Come on. Sit next to me. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Tell tell us a little history here. Hi. Oh, that camera. Oh, you gotta watch. Okay. Yeah, sit down. You gotta watch the balloons here. This is Jonathan Volk. He's an amazing artist and photographer and Maybe wonderful. You take off your glasses. And wonderful okay, thank you, thank you. friend of ours. The the second 
child of June, I mean of uh, <laughs> Scott and Beth Volk. Why don't you talk about it? I'm messing up all of them. I never can I'll, remember. I'll, who, I'll, I'll wait, share, I'll, I can I'll never share. remember who's the grandparents and who's the parents. So um, we we were friends with we are friends with Jonathan's grandparents, June and Shelley Volk, who uh, lived in community with a gentleman named Art Katz back in Bemidji, Minnesota. They gave up everything and yeah. moved there with their family back in the 70s. And um, so we were friends with June and Shelley, and we didn't have any children. And they had children, uh, Jonathan's father, Scott. And um, when I had Misha at the late age of 37, they had uh, she uh, Scott and his wife, Beth, had um, a little girl named Elisa, who was 19 months old. So we became friends with Jonathan's parents. And then Jonathan, we've known him since he was born and he's one of uh, Josh's best friends. And on the introduction that you saw tonight, at the very end there, Shelly Volk, his grandpa, is saying hi to Marty. Cause we used to do a New Year's Eve concert in Phoenix, Arizona for 30 years. Yeah. And then COVID hit and we stopped and we, we do this now. But Jonathan, I'm so sorry. You were supposed to talk and I completely- I don't want to talk, this is great. <laughs> But anyway, we've known Jonathan since he was a, since before he was born, and he's one of Misha's best friends, and and he's definitely um, what's your name over there, Joshua, my son-in-law's best friend. <laughs> so anyway, it's so good to have him here. He lives in Nashville now, in Tennessee. Is there anything you'd like to share, sing? We want to sing he's a very talented no, no, no. photographer. Very talented, and every, no, but it does everything. It's so sweet to be here after so many years growing up with Marty and Jenny at the New Year's Eve concert. Now being in their home. It's so sweet. It's sweet. And now you're you're your godfather to Caleb. Yeah, Caleb's my godson, the brilliant Caleb Hoyt. Yeah, where is he, Caleb? He disappeared. Yes. <laughs> so we're happy you're here tonight, John. I'm we're happy, happy here. You're, you're... Mwah. Yeah. Mwah. Mwah. I love you. Mwah. Mwah. Do you want to say anything else, honey? Thank you for Thank joining. You, Thank you, Thank you for joining you. us yeah. tonight. Honey, when I said I didn't for remember how we started New Year's Eve, I didn't remember. Well, we started New Year's Eve here yeah. at House of Worship. Yeah. Because in 2020, everything yeah. everything stopped, and so we just decided we would do a New Year's Eve concert from yeah. our home, and that's what we've done. This is our third time doing it, and I. I I, I, I'm not sure we're going to be going back to Phoenix to do no. New Year's Eve. And so everybody there, out so. there in Phoenix. We love you. We do love you. Do you want to sing something, honey? No, I'm okay. You are? Yeah, I'm okay. Why don't you sing? I will. <laughs> um, also, the decorations were were uh, courtesy of the Van Hosens, Mary and Paul. We also have our friend Andrea here and Mao and Alberta. These are friends of ours that... Uh, we all decided we're going to spend uh, New Year's together. And uh, I've been being requested to do a song for for such a long time by... Yes, go ahead. Sing your songs. We like your songs. Okay. Okay. Well, this is one of mine. But this is actually written with Andrea. Yeah. And we have a, we have a listener, a watcher, a friend named Karen... Karen uh, always asks for this song. It's from Healing Presence. Tell us about Healing Presence real quickly, Andrea. Yeah, tell us what the album is about. I, I don't know if I'll get the song right, but go ahead and tell them what this album is. It's not one of our albums, but it's a, it's, it's, I'm on it, but it's not one that, it's not a Marty Getz album, it's a Healing Presence album. Tell us about that. Well, Healing Presence was an album that we did for the AIDS Resource Ministry, which is now Embracing Life. And we did the album to give to AIDS patients because we were the first ministry at that time that were ministering to people with yeah. HIV and AIDS. And we also sold it to help support the ministry. So it was given away and it was sold. And um, one of the songs on there also we wrote with, with um, Wendell. That's true. Yeah. So anyway, it was just an opportunity to um, really minister and at the same time raise money for a ministry and and it's they're still playing it it's amazing all these years Praise later the so. well i'm gonna play this song thank you andrea we love andrea actually if you hear a song on one of our albums called um 
Show Me Thy Glory. It's on an album called Hope of Glory. I wrote that with Andrea. And there's another song. I might do it at the end tonight. We'll see. But this is the song that I am really going on on a limb here. I have never sung this song outside of the album. But as for here, for Karen, and these are, uh, this album and these songs minister to people that sought love in all the wrong places. You know, um, we should never judge anyone. We've all sought love in the wrong places. Uh, there but for the grace of God go any of us. I think this year, I don't know why I'm saying this, but this is a year, I really believe that we've got to stay away from judgment of other people. Uh, it's only the blood of Jesus that saves any of us. It's just the blood of Yeshua. And uh, anything we see in the world, even the, even the most heinous things, there but for the grace of God go I, go any of us. It's going to be an interesting year because love is going to have to be our one weapon. One's, love is going to have to be our most favored strategy. Love is going to have to be our go-to thing not the other things we've depended on. And I don't mean squishy love that accepts everything that God is trying to free people from. I'm talking about the kind of love that says, I'm not your judge. The Lord is your judge, but guess what? He's your savior. So come to him. He's the lover of your soul. No one else. up come and sing with me no other lover could ever discover the hope and the longing I keep in my heart only you Jesus can fill every longing only you Jesus can meet every need you are kindness and compassion full of mercy full of grace and I love when you so tenderly hold me in your embrace Oh, no other lover could ever discover the hope and the longing I keep in my heart Only you, Jesus can fill every Ever able bringing healing to my soul you're my laughter you're my treasure you're my song of songs strong and brave Strong and true, I belong to only you. First time, kids. Strong and brave, strong and true, kind of the same thing. day 
spring you are dawning light of light joy of joys you're the kingdom you are glory you are glory you are of lights, joy of joys, you are kingdom, you are power, you are glory. Everybody for walking me through that. Well, we got through it, except for that strong and true, strong and brave. I was okay. Here's another one we wrote together. Heavenly Father, I can see your body in disarray, but I don't care what I see. I only care what you say. You say we'll be changed, behold in you. Glory to glory, I know it's true. But sometimes worldly cares break through. You keep us from falling. Keep our eyes on you. Bring in us all in one accord. Make us one. Make us one. Wonderful Father, I feel like we'll never find our way, but I don't care what I feel, I only care what you say. You say we can do all things through you, faith to faith I know it's true, but sometimes doubt and fear break through. You keep us from falling, oh, keep our eyes on you, bringing us all in one accord. Make us one, make us one, make us one. Oh boy, that's our prayer, yes, Lord. Make us one. You've broken down the walls that divide Now break our hearts and break our pride Till Christ is all and we have died And we release the love in Side that makes us one, Lord. Oh, make us one, dear Abba Father. We all need to love you more each day. And I know when we have need, we only have to pray. We pray we may grow in love with you. Grace upon grace in all that's true Our endless praises breaking through Lord, keep us falling more in love with you Lord, hear us call in one accord Oh, make us one, make us one Hear 
us pray now that we may now finally be That's from an album called Intercessor. It's a guide through intercessory prayer. And uh, you could uh, find that, I think, through Andrea, Andrea Hunter. And uh, you could find it probably through us as well. And, but I'm gonna play a brand new song. And I hope it's okay that I do this. I hope nobody steals it. But uh, I think it's a new year, uh, so why not? Uh, so this will be the copyright. This is a brand new song, never played before, for anybody outside of this house. And I'm gonna do some requests from Joshua so he won't be mad at me at the end of the night. <laughs> Here we go. Lord, you're my shepherd, you meet every need. I find green pastures when your voice I heed. By the still waters you lovingly lead. Shepherd of Israel, And in the presence of my enemy, a banqueting table you spread out for me. My cup runs over, your oil flows free, shepherd of Israel. My Lord and my God, use your staff and your rod. You know how I go astray, how I get lost, how I lose my way. When the shadows are beckoning me, or I'm bound by some dark memory. But when I follow you, I look back and see Your goodness and mercy are following me For your name's sake, I make your path my own I'm part of your flock and I walk not alone. Still others you call till you bring us all home. Shepherd of Israel, lead me, my Lord and my God. Use your staff and your rod. How I go astray, how I get lost, how I lose my way. When the darkness is wrapped around me, or I'm charmed by some voice I should flee. But when I follow you, I look back and see. Your goodness and mercy are following me. And oh, what a miracle, how you restore my soul. Once a sad lost lamb, now safe in your arms I am. My God, use your staff and your rod. You know how I go astray, how 
How I get lost, how I lose my way, but you find me, though far I may be, and remind me so tenderly that when I follow you, I'll look back and see your goodness and mercy are following me. Yes, when I follow you, I look back and see. And mercy are following me. saying this thinking about Joshua and maybe Joshua can come up after this and talk to us a little bit he has so much to share I hope kids you don't mind being with us a little while longer we're just this is New Year's Eve we're gonna we gotta bring Caleb in here to blow the the horns and everything like that and give us a message maybe but uh, we've been singing this a lot of people all over the world are singing this because of the hostages that are being still held here here we celebrate New Year's Eve and you know, bombs are falling in Ukraine and it's a horrible time for so many people. Those, 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 those hostages from Israel, there they are and nobody knows where they are. A lot of people have been singing this song because it was about a, a young man and I, I always thought about Joshua when I played it because he's a warrior in the kingdom. <laughs> We don't know where it's going to take him. Maybe you have somebody out in the field. Maybe you have somebody in the military. Maybe you have somebody that you're praying for right now that's on your heart and you want to send a prayer out to them. Lord, on this New Year's Eve, Lord, boy, sitting here in this piano room with all our friends, Lord, not all our friends, with some of our many friends, <laughs> which is such a blessing to us, Lord can't fit all of them in their room I didn't I didn't write enough hit records to have a room big enough for that but I'm going to sing this song and ho hopefully uh, you can if lo lift up a prayer for somebody and if no one else our brothers and sisters in Israel God on Like the sun I might have known If God had granted me a son The summers die one by one How soon they fly on and on And I am old And will be Young. 
all. We're singing this all day. Written by a guy, what? Okay, written by a guy who later on in his life really didn't like the Jewish people very much at all. <laughs> but they were saying this is a fitting song for the new year. And by the way, after this song, I think maybe we should take a little break, maybe bring Caleb in here and he can uh, maybe have a word for us and uh, before we're done. Boy, I I'll tell you something, uh, kids, that, you know, when we start these houses, house of worships, we have no idea where they're gonna go. I get an idea in my head, but we just sit down and go for it. And uh, we make mistakes, but we don't apologize, do we? <laughs> <laughs> But this man, if it weren't for him and his revelation, Jewish guys like me and Jewish gals like Jenny, we probably wouldn't even know the Lord because he, he realized that faith in God alone was through grace alone, through believing the scriptures alone. And if it weren't for that, who knows where we'd be. So thank you, Martin, <laughs> from another Martin. When we see you in the kingdom, by then you'll know that you were not so right about our people, but it's okay. We'll work it out in the end. You sure did write a beautiful song that we can all sing together. A mighty fortress is our God, a bulwark never fails. Mary, do you want to sing it for us? <laughs> Our helper, he amid the flood of mortal ills prevailing. And still our ancient foe does seek to work us woe. His craft and power are great and armed with cruel hate. On earth is not his equal. Did we in our own strength confide our striving would be losing? Were not the right as good that may be Christ Jesus it is he Lord Sabaoth his name from age to age the same and he must win the battle to undo 
us once again The prince of darkness grim We tremble not for him His rage we can endure For lo, his doom is sure Here we go One little word shall fail him That word above all earthly powers No thanks to them abide The Spirit and the gifts are ours Let goods and kindred go <laughs> This mortal life also The body they may kill God's truth abide us still His kingdom is forever Boy, this is hard for us in the West, in America. It's so hard. <laughs> But we got to get it in our spirits. Let kin goods and kindred go. <laughs> This mortal life also, the body they may kill. God's truth abide us. Everybody get your get your noisemakers because because his kingdom is forever. It's and funny. one little word one little little word shall fell him. The devil is done away. He's defeated. The Lord is on the throne, right? So because the Lord is on the throne, he's going to come at the sound of a trumpet. Amen, Caleb. That's exactly right. So tell us a little bit what you're thinking about on this new year, Caleb. Yeah. Because first, I want to sing my song. Oh, you sing your song? Okay, go ahead and you sing your song. Sorry. It's a new year. There's new. No, you have to start playing piano when I start. Okay. Singing. All right. Okay. We I gotta do that find all the every time. I know. Time. Okay. One more time. Here we go. It's New Year, the balloons, the food, the world is changing. New Year, all of these things are here. New Year, everything's new on New Year's Eve. Friends, new schools, new houses, anything. The world is a new world, a new year. The world is a new world, a new year. All the kids get to.
Yeah, we're Happy gonna do. Mary. We're gonna do. Whoa! I lost my. I oh, lost I'll my decoration. Okay, I'll get it. okay. Get we're we're we got a lot going on here. So listen to me, kids. I I that was gorgeous, and it kind of segues to this. We're gonna be moving towards the end of our night tonight. But boy, look at that hair. Woo! Okay. But that was beautiful, Caleb. And he's in the key, he's in the exact same key that I wrote this little thing for us. Okay, here we go, kids. This is for you out there and for everybody here. Thanks everybody for coming out tonight. We got a few more songs. We're probably Yes, we're gonna do two, one or two more songs. Uh, and uh, we're gonna sing this one together. I'm gonna sing this for you. As this old year comes to an end, it brings so much to mind. For us at how it's you out there, you've been generous, sweet, and kind. So here in this new year, dear friends, we hope, we pray for more, more peace, more joy, more love outpoured in 2024. <laughs> in 2024, dear friends, we're looking to the Lord to take your cup and fill it up. So pray and hope for more. In 2024, dear friends, we're looking for the Lord to take your cup and fill it up. So pray and hope for more. We believe that God's going to do many more things in this year. We even tried to put a little mug together. Didn't quite come out the way we want it. It says, hope for more in 2024. And on the back, I, I did a little artist rendering of Hatikva. Oops, I just spilled on my piano. Hatikva, the hope. The hope. When you're hoping for more this year, don't forget the people in this world that needs hope, that need hope, especially our Jewish brothers and sisters in Israel, the people in Ukraine, the people all over the world who are suffering so much. So hope and pray for more. I believe the Lord wants to give it, don't you? In 2024, dear friends, we're looking for the Lord to take your cup and fill it up. So hope and pray for more, more Lord, more Lord. And you know what? I have a friend who tells me that I'm more prophetic than I think I am. Now, I wouldn't say that about myself, but he says it. So I have a, I'm gonna go out on a limb here tonight. I already went on a limb doing some songs I'd never done before. But hey, that's what House of Worship is for. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say something prophetic, okay, kids? So just jot this down. Look to the sky, redemption's nigh. He's coming back for sure. But if we're wrong, we'll still sing our song in 2024. We'll be with you the whole year through. Here's 20, 20, four. Hallelujah. Happy New Year, 2024.
24th. That's right, blow the whistles. Come on, everybody. That's it. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> We're going to end with this song and then we'll do a benediction. Oh, gosh, come here, Josh. I want you to sing How Long Will the Lord. Okay. I want you to put then I'll talk. All right. Should I sing it right now? Should I say something before I go? I'll say something. Yeah, come on, Josh. Sit here, both of you. I want to say that. I can't believe how quickly this night has gone. I know, it's already 8.30, can you imagine? If you have been blessed by House of Worship this year, by Marty Gets Ministries, in any way, and you would like to give to House of Worship, to Marty Gets Ministries, um, you can still give your 2023 donation until midnight. And to do that, visit martygets.com slash contribute, or just visit the Marty Gets website and the contribute tab, you can give on there. And all your gifts are tax deductible and they allow my parents to continue to do what they do online, in person, putting out new music. I can't wait to, that was beautiful. That Did you music. like it? Oh, it was so beautiful. Recording new music, all of those things, all those things um, are such a blessing for us and for all of you. And so if you'd like to give um, your last gift of 2023, go ahead and do that. Wow. Oh, our Facebook page is still disabled, sadly. So if, they if you have any Facebook connections, higher up, let us know. We're still working on it. He does not have a Facebook page that's currently functioning. So follow us on Instagram and watch House of Worship on YouTube. And um, if you come across a Marty Gets Facebook page, it is not us. We will let you know when his page is up and running. And you can, we can watch House of Worship Yes, you can also watch House of Worship on my Facebook page, with, <laughs> which is Misha Gets Music. But subscribe to our mailing list also, martygets.com. Go on there, subscribe to the mailing list, and we'll keep you updated on all of that. But for now, um, if you've been following on him on Facebook and have been missing his posts, go follow him on Instagram, because we've been keeping you updated there That's also. That's right. Thank you, Misha. We just... Thank the Lord for that little girl. She's our one and only, and she married this beautiful young man. He's going to be president of the United States. No get, get a look at this face. Get a look at this face. I need a haircut. Okay, so what do you have to say to us? You were always so um, profound. Well, I want Marty to play this song, How Long, O oh Lord, because um, it begins with a lamentation, mm -hmm. and it begins in a place of mourning. Mm -hmm in a position of feeling as if God has hidden his face and has abandoned his people. But it ends on a high. It mm -hmm. ends with a recognition that, as Marty said earlier, his goodness and mercy has followed. Mm -hmm. And even when night feels the darkest, he is there present. If you go to hell, he's present. If you go to heaven, he's present. He is in all things. He is the creator of all things. And this year, 2023, for many people, for us included, it, this was a heck of a year. It was a really challenging year. It was a dark year in which it felt like the promises of God did not necessarily come true. Mm -hmm. um, most poignantly, October 7th, a day of unimaginable horror as the people of Israel came under assault, um, the likes of which we haven't seen since the Holocaust, but probably more concerning than a terrorist group inflicting terror is the fact that many of our compatriots, many of you watching people in your neighborhoods and in your communities and your schools and your places of work and in your places of worship celebrated and endorsed what happened October 7th. I wanna be very clear, our, our nation and our society and our civilization is under attack. It's crumbling and collapsing before our very eyes and we need to recognize it. We need to be aware of what's coming in 2024. Um, the word that I've been thinking about as I've been praying about the new year is perseverance, fighting through. As, the, as we get nearer to the Messiah's return, it's promised in the scripture that things will get increasingly dark, increasingly difficult, increasingly challenging. Um, I think we're going to see things soon that we couldn't imagine. We have to, and not to be negative, but we have to be prepared for what's coming. And so I wanna encourage everybody 
recommit yourselves to the Lord. Recommit yourselves to holiness and to truth. It's all that matters. His purpose and his plan is all that matters. His kingdom is all that will endure. So let the things of this world pass away. Don't be caught up in the things of this world. Don't be caught up in the pleasures of this world and the pleasure of the eye and the pleasure of the mind and the pleasure of your own success. Be about him, be about his kingdom. Only there will you find safety and security and true fulfillment. So for 2024, I encourage you to be focused on persevering through challenging times. Fight through the difficulty. Push past the wiles of the enemy. Fix your eyes on Jesus and on the things that he established. Be about his purposes and his kingdom. And there you'll find true success and true fulfillment. Um, so this song, I think, is about that. It's about feeling as though God abandoned, abandoned you, but realizing that you're actually walking exactly in his purpose. So I hope this song encourages you for what happened and for what's to come. That was beautiful, Josh. Man, I wish I was that wise at that age. No telling what could have happened. <laughs> Thank you, Joshua. Paul, did you have anything you want to share? Are you okay? You got something? You good? We're gonna move on here, kids. Anybody, anybody, okay. Bueller, Bueller. That was beautiful. Thank you all for joining us. We didn't know what we were gonna to do tonight, but, but uh, we've done it. <laughs> so Lord, we just pray for all our House of Worship family. All of them, Lord that this would be the best year ever because it's leading toward the best that is to come, which is Yeshua himself. This is from Psalm 13. How long, O oh Lord, will you forget me forever? How long, O oh Lord, will you keep hiding your face? Please answer me, how long, O oh Lord, must I see the enemy lift himself up against me? But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord. I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord. I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord. Because he has dealt kindly with me. kindly with me. Hear me, O oh Lord, won't you consider my sorrow? Hear me, O oh Lord, won't you enlighten my eyes that I may see? Hear me, O oh Lord, must I hear my enemy say he has triumphed over me? Oh no, I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord. I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord. I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord. Because he has dealt kindly with me before. He has dealt kindly with me before. When I went astray, I learned your way. 
For I was chastened by your word And your statutes shall be my song While I wait in patience No matter how long How long How long I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord I will sing, sing, sing to the Lord I will sing Therefore, by the mercies of God, said Saul of Tarsus, we call St. Paul, that you offer your bodies a living sacrifice. It's kind of what Josh was saying. Holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world. You know, I'm just going to say it. I... I'm a man that really loved this world, I gotta tell you. Even as I became a believer, even as a believer, my hope was still in this world. It happened, it lasted a long time. I didn't even know that. I didn't even know it until recently. When I see that the hope in this world is vain and futile, but it's not in this earth that my hope is misplaced because this earth, kids, is going to be the dwelling place of God himself. Now, he's going to have to do a little redecorating. He's going to have to change it up a bit. He's going to have to kind of start from scratch in a way. But guess what? We who are believers in the world to come, we're going to be there. And God is going to give us many, many wonderful things to do. <laughs> We're not just going to be sitting on clouds playing harps. No, no, no. The, the new world is coming. Maybe it'll come this year. Who knows? Maybe Yeshua will come, sit on his throne here and reign and who knows? I don't know what your eschatology is. I'm not sure what my eschatology is. I'm not even sure what eschatology means. I just know that Yeshua is coming back. I don't know when, but when he comes, everything God started in the beginning will be finished and it will last forever, forever and forever. Isn't that a wonderful promise yes. on this new year? So this new year is beginning the end of all things, which is the beginning of all things new. That's a good promise. So we're going to sing this from Romans 12, the fifth verse. We've been singing it since... Before Misha, Before Misha was, born. was even born. And look at her. And then as soon as she was born, I held her in my arms and sang it with her. And as soon as she could actually sing better than I could, I let her sing it by herself. <laughs> but because this is house of worship, I'm going to join them. Okay, kids, here we go. And we being many are one body in Christ. Loving each other 
with God as our Father, who loves us as a mother loves her newborn child. We are his bride, taken from his side, when blood and water fell from the broken heart of Israel. See the Lord provide the precious lamb who died. The great I am, he cried, Eli, Eli, lama zavtani abba. El Shaddai, to God I give my life. And every one members of one another, loving each other with God as our Father, who loves us as a mother loves her newborn child. We are His. When blood and water fell from the broken heart of Israel, see the Lord provide the precious lamb who died. The great I am, cried Eli, Eli, Lamazatani, Abba, El Shaddai. us as a mother loves her newborn child, who loves us as a mother loves her newborn child. We want to leave you with this benediction that Misha composed, and uh, she's been composing some. Where when they go for your music? MishaGets.com. MishaGets.com. Yeah. She has beautiful songs. This was her first one that was actually, you know, kind of like a song song. It's from Numbers, the sixth chapter, and as we sing it, even though Misha's singing and I'm singing it with her. Receive it as from the Lord, your high priest. I want to hear something cool that I read. Yeah. Even though we're late. I'm reading a book on Jewish history. I just started it. And the first chapter is all about the ancient history. And in that chapter, they said that the first scripture that they ever found outside of actual scripture like historical records they found on scripture was number 6 24 through 26 wow. it's the oldest piece of it's like the oldest piece of scripture they have ever found wow that's amazing is that blessing way wow. before anything wow <laughs> very well said <laughs> Josh would explain it better but that's all I can. even before, before her father <laughs>
May his grace and his face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And give you Let's she, 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 yes. What? Well, why? What did you? What did you want? He is here. No. I'll sing it for you later. No, but that's a great song of hope. Okay. Your dad said he's more prophetic than he thinks. They can look up. Okay. Okay. We have time. We're going till nine. We have seven minutes. <laughs> Our, our God, you should sing it with us. Redeemer of Israel. Come on, Josh. The Lord, just fake it, I do. You are our God. There is no other, no Savior but you. For you have done wonderful things. From of old you are faithful and true And you'll come to your temple to rule and to reign The nations will tremble and fear But all of your people will say in that day This is the Lord, we have waited for him And at last he is here God is near. Behold, our God is near. He's coming quickly. Oh, very soon he will appear. I know, I know. He's the beginning, and he has no And he'll come to his temple to rule and to reign. The nations will tremble and fear. But all of his people will say in that day, This is the Lord we have waited for him. And at last, he is here. And to Yerushalayim he'll come and the sun and the moon disappear. For the light of the world has returned to his own. He is the Lord, we have waited for him and at last. He will come to his temple to rule and to reign. The nations will tremble and fear. Oh, the Lord. 
lonely and waiting for him and at last he is here 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 Yeshua Yeshua is here So far, that's beautiful. <laughs> we will we will not be with you on Tuesday. It's my birthday on Wednesday, so yes, we're going is. to just celebrate this week. They will be back with you on Friday. I think January we should sing 5th to her for Shabbat. No, don't sing to me. Okay. <laughs> sing yourself. Okay. Wait, say that again, what you're going to do. No House of Worship on Tuesday. They'll be back with you on Friday, January 5th. Wait, show Sammy. Oh, my gosh, Sammy. Wait, wait, happy wait. New Year, I know, Sammy. I Hold know, on. I know. Wait, say it again. Happy Where's his hat? New say it again, Happy Where's New his Year. Hat? He Where's your hat? hat and his thing. I know, we're going way over. We're go well, it's okay. It's New Year's Eve. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Mom, Sammy. Mom, where's his little hat? I don't know. Okay. Wait. Does Sammy sing a song? Wait, is this it? Yeah, that's That's, part that's of it. his hat. That's his hat. There's Sammy's okay, hat. Okay, go ahead. I, you know okay, what? I, I know this is going to I know this is going to sound silly. But there you go. Okay. Uh, but once we were at their house and I sang this song and Sammy danced, but I don't he never has that since. <laughs> But I'm going to play it before we sing our last song. I heard a robin this morning. Look at your yeah, I'm happy today. Going to pack my cares in a whistle. Going to blow them all away. Sure, yes, I've been unlucky. Yeah, I don't got a thing. There's a time I always am happy, as happy as a king. When the red, red robin comes bop, bop, bobbing along, along, there'll be no more sobbing when he starts robbing his own sweet song. Wake up, wake up, you sleepyhead, get up. Get up, get out of bed, cheer up, cheer up, the sun is at live, love, laugh and be happy. What if I am blue, still I'm walking through fields of flowers. Rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing a song. When the red, red robin come bob, bob, bobbing along. Dance, dance, Sammy. Wake up, you sleepyhead, get up, get up, get out of bed, cheer up, cheer up, the sun is red, live, love, laugh and be happy. Yes, that's a word for all of us, isn't it? What if I am blue, still I'm walking through fear of flowers, rain may glisten, but still I listen for hours and hours. I'm just a kid again, doing what I did again, singing a song. When the red, red robin comes, bop, 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 when the red, red robin comes, bop, 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 when the red, red robin comes, bop, 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 and all Misha likes the old original, so let's sing it I together. I love yours too. I love yours. Thank you. I know. 
Well, no, we're just gonna, okay. This is the old original. You wanna, Mary and Paul, you wanna come sing, sing with us yeah. to this? Come on. <laughs> Alberta and Mao, you wanna come sing this with us? Everyone squeeze. We're squeezing. What are you singing? Just the old standard. Oh, squeeze. Alberta, you wanna squeeze? Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? For old lang syne, my dear, for old and I used to watch Guy Lombardo sing this, right? Did you watch that, Mary? Of course. Yeah, yeah. those were the days. And you watch the ball come down. And you watch the ball come down. <laughs> but we just, once again, kids, we do believe the best is yet to come. Yes. No matter what you're going through, no matter what you're experiencing. Yes. It's going to be a party in the end. Mm -hmm. yeah, big the one. ball's coming down tonight, but the Lord's coming down soon. Yes. And when he comes down, the party begins. Amen. Let's sing it one more time, and everybody. It will never end. And it'll never end. That's, that's good, Mary. Should all acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all acquaintance be forgot and days of old lang syne? Amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Even so, Maranatha, Amen. come, Lord Jesus, come. Jenny, do you have to turn off everything? Happy New Year! <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> Bye, everybody.